Evolutumab is one of the monoclonal antibody that is an analog of human immunoglobulin G2, commonly known as IgG2. Evolutumab is one of the new medication that acts by unique mechanism. This drug increases the uptake of LDL by liver, thereby can reduce the serum LDL cholesterol levels. And it is classified as PCSK9 inhibitor. This is one of the protein that is responsible for degradation of LDL receptors. Evolusumab is available as an auto-injector and it can be given in two ways based on the convenience of the patient. It is available as dosing for every two weeks or once a month. And this medication is given by subcutaneous injection. Evolusumab increases the expression of LDL receptors on the liver which increase the LDL uptake. This medication can be given both in the adults as well as in the children. In the children with age about 10 years, Evolusumab can be given. So today in this video, we are going to discuss how this medication increases the LDL uptake into the liver, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see what are the clinical use of this medication. Evolusumab can be given to the people with existing cardiovascular disease, people having myocardial infarction due to the damage to the cardiac system which may lead to various cardiovascular complications like heart attacks and cardiac arrhythmias. And in the people who are having an increased risk of stroke, many of the medications can be given to reduce the risk. Among these lipid lowering drugs are one category of drugs and here evolusumab can be given to reduce the LDL cholesterol levels. Similarly, evolusumab can be given along with statins for the treatment of primary hyperlipidemia. This primary hyperlipidemia is also called as familial hyperlipidemia which is associated with elevated levels of LDL cholesterol. And this is one of the genetic disorder that may be linked with either single gene where it is called as homozygous or it can be linked with two genes heterozygous. Evolusumab can be given both for homozygous and heterozygous familial hyperlipidemia. However, along with diet control and along with statin therapy, Evolusumab can significantly control the LDL cholesterol levels and it can reduce the risk of mortality in the people. Now let us see how it works. This is the hepatocyte. On the hepatocytes, LDL receptors are expressed which are responsible for uptake of LDL from the blood circulation. When LDL binds to these receptors, they can be internalized and they can be taken by endosomes within the liver. These endosomes can produce degradation of cholesterol. However, LDL receptor is going to be recycled, which is again responsible for uptake of LDL. In this way, cholesterol is going to be taken into the hepatocytes where it is going to be degraded and LDL receptors are recycled to the surface of the hepatocytes. But this process is controlled by one of the protein PCSK9. Proprotein convertase subtilisin kexin type 9. It is one of the enzyme that binds to LDL receptors. Along with cholesterol, it is going to be internalized into the lysosome. Lysosomes are having the cleavaging enzymes which are responsible for degradation of both LDL cholesterol as well as LDL receptors. So within the lysosomes, LDL receptors are degraded and they are not available for recycling. Now, Evolusumab is one of the immunoglobulin G2 analog which can block this enzyme PCSK9. By inhibiting this enzyme activity, it can reduce the degradation of LDL receptors, thereby it can increase their recycling. As LDL receptors are more recycled, they are more expressed on the hepatocytes which increase the uptake of LDL. In this way, in people with elevated LDL cholesterol levels, Evolusumab can reduce the serum cholesterol levels by increasing their uptake into the liver. One of the important precautions of this medication is the hypersensitivity. Evolusumab can produce few of the allergic reactions resulting in one of the condition angioedema. It is a condition of swelling of lips, face, tongue, pharynx that may result in difficulty swallowing. So if such allergic reactions are observed with use of evolusumab, this drug should be discontinued. Even though rare evolusumab can produce few of the other allergic reactions like uh, difficulty breathing, skin rashes, bumps on the skin, redness of the skin and even it can produce severe itching in the people. Again, these may indicate severe allergic reactions. 
in such cases this drug should be discontinued however these are rare and not observed in all people in few of the people evolismab injection may produce a pain and redness at site of injection which slowly disappears and it may not be a severe allergic reaction however any symptoms of angioedema skin rashes and difficulty breathing may indicate serious allergic reactions now let us see the side effects of this medication one of the common side effect of evolismab is the nasopharyngitis it can produce some inflammation in the nasopharynx and it can also produce flu like symptoms so people may experience sore throat runny nose and oropharyngeal pain it can also produce upper respiratory tract infections like influenza and in few of the people back pain as well as muscle pain can also be observed with each dose of evolismab pain at site of injection may be observed and even it can produce few of the allergic reactions like angioedema now let us the doses of this medication evolismab is available as an auto injector these auto injectors are suitable for single use purpose and they are available in two forms in one formulation each 1 ml of the injection contains 140 mg of evolismab this is suitable for single use and it is given by subcutaneous route and it is also available as on body infusion where each 3.5 ml of solution contains 420 mg of evolismab as we have discussed earlier this medication can be given in two ways it can be given for every two weeks or once a month based on the patient convenience it can be taken in any of these ways when it is intended for every 2 weeks 140 mg of evolismab is given for every 2 weeks this can be achieved by single use auto injectors where each ml delivers 140 mg of evolismab however when it is indicated for once a month the dose is more it is given at a dose of 420 mg this dose can be taken in two ways by using on body infusers the 420 mg dose can be given by 3.5 ml of solution within 9 minutes otherwise this dose can be taken as three consecutive injections of 140 mg per ml dose within 30 minutes again here based on the convenience it can be taken as a single dose otherwise it can be taken as three doses but the total dose is 420 mg intended for use once a month in case of missed dose within 7 days it can be taken at any time of the day however in sometimes the dose may be missed above 7 days in such cases the missed dose can be either taken or it may be ignored based on the dose's frequency if you are taking for every 2 weeks the missed dose can be ignored however when it is taken once a month the missed dose can be taken whenever possible and a new schedule should be followed from the date of last administration and a once a month gap should be maintained so that's all about this medication evolusumab which is a new medication with a unique mechanism it is a human immunoglobulin g2 analog and it acts as a pcsk9 enzyme inhibitor by inhibiting this enzyme activity it can reduce the degradation of ldl receptors thereby it can increase the expression of these receptors on the hepatocytes hypersensitivity is one of the important uh, side effect produced by this medication and this drug can also produce cold like symptoms and upper respiratory tract infections so that's all about this medication evolusumab that's for today i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching see you in the next video